Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be tackling my linen slash hall closet. It's basically the place in our house that we store all of our extra stuff. So we have extra blankets in here, we have extra toiletry items, we have some crafts. So it's a pretty big area. It's like a pretty big size closet and we're so thankful that we have it, but it has been so disorganized for a while and just really needing this. So we are going to go ahead and tackle this together and I'm excited to get this done. I know it will feel so good going in there. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm dealing with right now. All right, so this, I also have my lighting equipment in here. I cannot even open the door. All right, this is how bad it's gotten. At one point you can see it was organized and it is just not working. So, we are going to make this happen and make this be a wonderful space. So let's get to it. So the first thing that I wanted to do was go ahead and pull every single thing out of this linen closet. A lot of times I will kind of go space by space, but in this case, I really wanted to get everything out so I could get it all nice and clean and start with a clean slate since I was completely reorganizing this from top to bottom. We have one shelf cleared out, five, five more to go. So I wanted to talk to you guys about a website called Top Cash Back, and that is actually where I got all of the organizing bins that I'm going to be using in our hall closet. And what Top Cash Back is, is it is a website or an app that you can go onto and then get cash back whenever you shop online at other retailers. They have over 4,000 retailers on their site, like Walmart, Target, Dollar Tree, and then you just go onto their website or their app and then search whatever store you were looking for. So in this case, I was looking for Dollar Tree. I clicked on Dollar Tree and it took me right to the Dollar Tree website. And then I started searching for the products that I was looking for. So in this case, I went ahead and got some organizing bins. And I actually love being able to buy these from Dollar Tree online because one, whenever you go to Dollar Tree, I feel like they are so picked over, especially when you're looking for the more neutral colored bins. I feel like they have so many of those crazy colors that nobody really wants. And this way I was actually able to get them in the colors that I wanted. And I also got some cash back on my purchase, which was really awesome because you guys know me, I'm always looking for a good deal. And right now Top Cash Back is actually offering you guys a $10 sign up bonus whenever you spend $25. So I was really excited for that because that means you can go ahead and get $10 back plus whatever you end up getting back from your purchase that you purchase online. And if you're going to purchase online, you might as well get a little bit of money back. I also really love that they have no minimum payout. So anytime you earn some cash back, you can go ahead and pay out anytime. So I will leave the link to top cash back down in the description box. So definitely go check that out and save a little bit of money whenever you guys are ordering online next. I was so excited when I found out about this app and I have been using it ever since. So if you guys have used top cash back before, leave me an emoji down below and let me know what is your favorite retailer to shop through from them. So this is everything that was stuck in that closet. As you can see, I had a lot of things that I needed to go through. So 
So the first thing that I'm going to be doing once everything is totally emptied out of the closet is just wiping off the shelves. So I'm first just doing a dry dusting with my rag just to get any extra dust off of the shelves. And then I'm going in with my Mrs. Meyers All Purpose Spray and I'm using the mint scent. This is a spring scent right now. I do have a link down below if you are interested and that will give you a few free goodies with your first order. But I have to say, once I wiped everything down with this mint scent, this closet smelled so good and so fresh. It definitely motivated me to keep on going. I don't know if you guys are like that too, but if I have a good product that smells really good, it definitely keeps my motivation going. All right, so these are all the different bins that I got to organize the space. And I also picked up some tags from the Target Dollar Spot just to help label all of our items. And then these also came from Target. I almost wanna say they were like $7. They were a little bit pricier, but not too bad, especially for the size. And I only got the big ones just because I needed to put like toilet paper and paper towels and our bigger items like that in there. And then I got these ones from the Dollar Tree. I did just order these online. And I love that I was able to get so many of each color, so that was awesome. I was trying to keep my hair down. I figured I'm not doing any hard cleaning today, so I didn't think I needed to put my hair up. But once I pulled everything out, I was totally breaking a sweat and I needed to get this hair pulled back so that I could really get some work done. The next thing that I did once everything was cleaned off is I just started setting up my bins in the way that I felt it would maximize my space and also look appealing to the eye. I totally feel like when you're in a big space like this, it can feel really overwhelming when you have so many different bins and when it's not appealing to the eye, honestly, I feel like it's so much easier to get disorganized again. So I am really excited that I was able to do this on such a small budget using Dollar Tree items and have everything look so uniform and so organized. The first thing that I'm putting into the large bins that I'd gotten from Target is just our toilet paper and also our paper towels. I found that when you take products out of their original packaging and you put them in a bin or something that looks really nice and pleasing to the eye, it just makes the whole space seem more put together and also more calming and peaceful, which I really think adds a lot of benefit. Flying over streets and the broken hearts. The next thing that I wanted to tackle is all of the kids crafts. We have a lot of different things so I think keeping them organized in small categories really will benefit us. And also since Liam and Luke are both getting old enough to do this on their own, I wanted to have the crafts in an area that they are completely able to get on their own. Next, I'm going to be storing some extra cleaning products. A lot of these cleaning products are the limited edition ones that I really overstocked on. One, because I'm obsessed with these scents and I really want them to last all year round. And the other reason is because I'm actually planning on giving away some of these items. And so anytime I find an item that I really love, I will stock up a little bit and I will give it to friends, I will give it to family, and I will also save it to add into giveaways for you guys. Next, I'm just moving on to our toiletry items. I really like to buy these items in bulk or whenever I can find them on sale. I don't usually coupon very much anymore and so whenever I find them on sale, I like to stock up a little bit and that way I know that I'm getting them at a lower price. 
And I did want to show you guys this little trick I figured out. If you guys go to the Dollar Tree, I'm sure you guys are familiar with both of these baskets. They are pretty much the same basket, but one is a larger size and the other one is smaller, but they actually nestle perfectly inside one another. So if you want to go ahead and use both of these bins together, you can totally do that. And it just gives you another way to kind of organize within one of the bins. We are almost to 100,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it, you guys. When I started my YouTube channel about a year and a half ago, I never in my wildest dreams imagined that we would be at this point. So I shared over on my Instagram page that I am getting ready to put together a huge 100,000 subscriber giveaway just to give back to you guys and show you guys how much you mean to me. So leave me a comment below letting me know what you guys would love to see in the giveaway. I'm thinking of having two giveaway winners so I'm really, really excited for that. Stay tuned, and as soon as we hit 100,000, I'm gonna get that giveaway going. In my heart, in my vision, a recession has never been this hard. I got wasted when I tasted the sweetness of so far, these are all of the things that we are going to be getting rid of and just donating, and it feels so good to get this pile narrowed down a bit more. Next, I'm just moving on to all of our blankets and all of our sheets. I feel like we used to keep a lot of extra blankets and a lot of extra sheets, but in the end, we really have plenty. We have one blanket for every single bed, and then I'm also going to be keeping one large blanket just to have an extra one, and really that is plenty for us. Let me know if you guys like to keep a lot of extra blankets and sheets, or if you usually just keep one for each set and maybe one extra or something if you have guests. But for me, I've just found it takes up way more space than it's actually worth, and it feels so good to really declutter and minimize this area. So while I was doing this process, I was actually Marco Poloing with my friend Lynn from her channel Lynn White, Purposeful Joy, and we have totally been motivating each other lately because we have just needed a little bit of help in that area. Even though I motivate you guys a lot, I definitely need to find my own motivation sometimes. So I do think that finding an accountability partner or just a friend that can help motivate you a little bit makes a big difference. Let me know if you guys have a person like that in your life. And if you do, are they a friend? Are they your spouse? Are they your sister or brother? I feel very blessed to have several people that I kind of am able to do that with. But my girl Lynn is totally helping me out in this stage right now. So y'all can seriously thank her for this video because I was really dreading this and she totally motivated me. Once all of the items are put away in the bins, I just wanted to start going ahead and labeling them. And I'm going to be attaching these labels with sticky tack instead of the string, just because I feel like it will be one, a lot easier, and two, a little bit cleaner looking.
play Jack and my stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I make Play-Doh. You're gonna do Play-Doh? Is it too heavy? Yeah. Yeah, let me help you with it. No, I got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah. This Play-Doh is not gonna make it into the closet right away. <laughs> You need help now? Yes. So independent, boy. Good job. It's really happy. That was very heavy. Good job. Boom. Boom. Good job. It's really happy now. <laughs> yeah. The very last thing before I was completely finished is just to go ahead and vacuum the floor of the closet. And let me tell you, it really, really needed it. So I love how everything came out. I feel like it is completely night and day from what this linen closet started as to where it is at now. And it feels so peaceful coming in here and just knowing where everything is and knowing that everything has a spot. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I hope you guys got some amazing cleaning and decluttering and organizing motivation. And also before you guys go, I would love it if you guys checked out that link in the description box for Top Cash Back. I know that once you guys try it out, you guys will absolutely love it. And like I said earlier, that will also give you $10 cash back whenever you spend $25. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. And also head over to Instagram and follow me over there. And I will see you guys in my next one.